New Eels Institute for Health and Human Development carries out applied health research covering the entire human life course, from maternity through to healthy ageing. In an era of huge concern about the increase of young people living with diabetes and obesity, the programme has tackled how health services can best meet the changing medical and social needs of young people. Led by Professor Angela Harden, Dr Darren Sharp and PhD student Emma Green, the project aims to help develop services with all major stakeholders from commissioners, providers, through to patients and their families. Throughout the programme, we hope to hear stories of how the Institute's work has positively impacted on the work of these partners to help achieve better health outcomes for young people living with diabetes throughout East London. Uh, this project is uh, uh, conceived uh, with the background of Newham being uh, one of the boroughs with the highest number of uh, young person population and also having the highest prevalence of uh, type 2 diabetes in the country uh, and also it's, it's a borough with uh, high socio-economic deprivation as well. The Young Commissioners have been set up to enable young people to represent um, the importance of transition of diabetes services so that young people can say themselves what is best for them in terms of accessing uh, uh, primary care and tertiary care uh, so that they can actually access the services themselves at the time they want and um, it's most accessible to them. For me it's a chance for me as a young person and a patient to get to be involved in what I receive and what others receive which is the biggest thing. It's like you're always involved in your own care but to be involved in everyone else in the community is good. I was interested in the Young Commissioners Project um, from Diabetes UK's point of view because it's a really exciting, innovative project. All too often young people are told what they're going to do, they have no say if there's any sort of um, involvement, it tends to be about parents being involved and designing things and making their comments. So to have a project that looks at youth commissioners and for them to be co-designing a service and working with other young people and families is incredibly exciting. They have first-hand knowledge themselves of the condition and are, have been best placed to advise and co-design and implement new models of care. They have, um, from the initial stages, been involved and have brought immense energy, enthusiasm and sort of new ideas to the design table. It's a project about empowering young people living with a long-term condition, um, in this case diabetes, to take control over the services that they're using to maintain their health. So it's really about putting the patient back at the centre and it's a different way of working because it really puts the young person back in control and brings clinicians and service providers and commissioners back to reality in a sense because it reminds them why they're doing their job in the first place by having them there and getting that instant dialogue and feedback. So UCLP has been involved in the project from the perspective of trying to make sure that the work in Newham uh, is able to cascade across northeast, north, well, north central London, uh, particularly so that we have a, a, a work that can be replicated elsewhere. And so personal growth is, is fantastic. And as a project, to actually involve young people in that service design is something that everywhere should be doing going forward. Um, the Youth Commissioners have been a visible force in our local community. They've been spreading the word of diabetes care and giving education in town centres, in the local market, in local libraries, youth centres, and going into local schools. Um, they've been an excellent, excellent way of promoting diabetes care and also just raising awareness. I've worked with the Youth Commissioners to actually develop a national um, transition service specification. They were also very involved in the diabetes um, schools policy document that we have created that has gone out to all 32 CCGs in London. At the heart of it, we were able to really think about self-care and prevention. Um, and it seems to me that if we're going to have a kind of sustainable health service in the future, that actually prevention is the kind of key and self-care is the key and uh, it, was, uh, it was fantastic to see the young people and their families really wanting to, to, to get on with their lives.